Hello guys, welcome back to the internet's best reactions. Today we are talking about the land of the free, the United States Grand Prix. Poet and I didn't know it. But before we begin, I have two things to tell you. One, I'm really jet lagged. I've come back from the US really tired. But second, the one that's more important is this. <laughs> If you didn't know what this lovely plaque is about, it's to celebrate us hitting 100,000 subscribers. Very proud. Thank you, everybody, for the support that you've given on the channel. Next stop, the gold one. One milli. So, we had a very different start to the Grand Prix. I don't mean the actual grid itself, but the sort of pre-race build-up. It was very American and very, very American. I mean... <laughs> The, the guy from uh, WWE, I think it is, or no, no, not WWE. Boxing, you know, the let's get ready to rumble, that guy. He actually said drivers start your engines. And this is where at underscore Chris UK says, technically they're hybrid power units and a team of technical engineers are required to start them. <laughs> Good banter, like it was like a technological banter, that one. So not many people, from what I saw on social media and Twitter especially, didn't really like the pre-race show, but I liked the fact it was different. And so did at Daniel underscore apt, who is a Formula E driver, if you didn't know. He said, that's how you put on a pre-race show. Rest of the world, watch and learn, amazing. And someone replied, can't tell if genuine or sarcasm. Personally found it bizarre and added nothing to proceedings. Those people just need to just be sort of gently brought into maybe a different kind of proceedings for pre-race show. America just went full America. <laughs> and uh, some people didn't like it, but I did. What did you think? Let me, let me, let me, let me, oh, I'll give you three seconds. Let me know. Oh, pop it in that comments. There we go. Thank you. Kevin Magnussen being Kevin Magnussen at the start of the race. Guido van der Gaard coming straight in. Just the guy's just relentless. Excuse me, Magnussen coming through, and it's that very, very popular bulldozing gif. So during the race, Fernando Alonso was going about his merry, merry way? Merry way. Going merrily on his way. Alonso is driving. Okay, let's try that again. Alonso was driving in the race uh, until he broke down, as, as he usually does. And at Virtual Statman, Alonso has failed to see the chequered flag for varying reasons. 11 times this season. Not a funny thing, but a quite a painful thing to read. Although, 11 times, is it really though? How many of those times do you reckon Alonso has stopped due to engine issues? Renault Sport F1, do not make a joke about Nando, do not make a joke about Nando, do not make a joke about Nando. Made, made, made a joke about Nando. And so did WTF1 official, which is us, uh, Alonso, pay, <laughs> Alonso paying tribute to his Indy 500 run with his helmet design and a Honda engine failure. <laughs> uh, and a guy, a guy, I mean, I should probably call you by your actual handle, at Asperger underscore nerd. Interesting uh, tag, that one. Uh, an engine issue for Alonso? Another interesting part of the race, Sergio came over the radio, as he always does, saying, I am faster than Esteban, let me through, blah, blah, blah. And at IGP manager says, when Sergio says he'll give the position back, and it's one of my favorite gifts ever of Anchorman, where it's, I don't believe you, then gets the cigarette out. I didn't believe him either. So more on the False India situation, at Aaron Gillard underscore 17. I have the pace to pass Ocon, which is what I mentioned, gets overtaken by signs. And then it's just a, a very, how would you describe this? Shocked, I'm just gonna go with shocked. I was gonna go for a much more longer, maybe more comprehensive word, but I'm really, really tired. Circuit of the Americas, or at Cota, Kimi is boiring down Bot's neck, only a few tenths off P3. It's, it's things like that with the circuits I do like. I do enjoy the, the sort of r relatability, the, the, the kind of the teams, and also the tracks are starting to, to kind of drop into their social media, tracks more so as well now. Carlos Sainz was having a fantastic race, as at Sniff Petrol has noticed. With Meanwhile, Julian Palmer is sitting at home going, I could have done that. No, wait, who am I kidding? Because <laughs> Carlos Sainz just balling in the points in his first race for Renault. It took, I think, Julian 26 times to get into Q3. Carlos did it first time on Saturday. At PFF1, Julian has switched off the telly. 
the poor guy. It just shows that he did, didn't really have that much talent, despite being a pretty good GP2 driver. By the way, have you seen my, have you seen my color? Nice, isn't it? It's, it's very vibrant, not gonna lie, it gets a few looks. You can buy it here at the WTF1 shop. Click here. A first happened today on social media on Twitter. Ferrari replied to someone, although albeit it was Mercedes, a little bit of inter-team uh, joking going on. Uh, guys, would, could you like not please? And that was to Kimmy closing in on Bottas, and it was dot dot dot, what would you do in our place, P-Face? Ferrari have joined the scene. And now it's time for Race Rundown, with your host, Matthew Gallagher. So the F1 race classification for the United States Grand Prix are as follows. Hamilton, Vettel, Raikkonen, Verstappen, Bottas, Ocon, Sainz, Perez, Massa, Kvyat, Stroll, Van Dorn, Hartley, Grosjean, Ericsson, Magnussen. <laughs> and the non-finishers, Alonso, Ricciardo, Vettel, and Hockenberg. I have 90 seconds to give you an F1 race rundown. Alistair, count me in. Three, two, one. Good. Hamilton started on pole but got beat into Vettel, got beat into Vettel, got beat into the first corner by Vettel, who led for a couple of laps, but Hamilton was like, nah fam, I'm just gonna overtake you. And then he just went off into the distance, pretty much won, he won by 10 seconds. Raikkonen, he was uh, he was okay, he was actually quite fast this race, and he did pretty well. He probably would have beaten Vettel on the alternate strategy, but uh, had to let him through in the end and finish third, although he came under pressure from Verstappen at the end. Verstappen starting 16th, was up into sixth by like lap seven, what a bowler. Got driver of the day, finished four, actually finished third, overtook Raikkonen at the kind of turn esque looking last sector corners from uh, Turkey, but uh, obviously in America. And uh, yeah, Verstappen finished there, but got penalized. So he finished fourth in the end. Bottas, fifth, rubbish. He's just absolutely rubbish. Ocon, great drive from him, sixth. Had to deal with Perez for a bit, moaning that the fact he was faster, but Perez finished in eighth. So what do you say about that? Signs, fantastic racing from him. Seventh place for Renault, absolute bowler, and was the last of the people not to get lapped. And then obviously Perez in eighth. Massa had a pretty decent race in ninth. And then Kvyat finishing in the points, despite being a taxi driver next weekend. And Stroll in 11th, just about missing out on the points. Van Dorn in 12th, Hartley, great. He finished a race, even though he hadn't driven an, uh, an open wheel car for many, many years. Grosjean 14th, uh, Ericsson 15th, and Magnussen. I really enjoyed him getting punted, did you? So Alonso, what I've already kind of mentioned him. He just finished, unfortunately for him, and uh, engine. So uh, he, he cannot wait for, for to, to not be part of Honda anymore, I'm pretty sure. Ricardo, so disappointing for him. I can't believe that. Verlon, I'm being told, oh my God, two seconds. Verlon and Hockenberg, both are out. <laughs> so that's been the internet's best reactions to the United States Grand Prix. If you want to get involved next time, all you have to do is use the tag at WTF1Official on Twitter or use the hashtag WTF1 and we'll pick the best ones to feature in this awesome series. I just want to say thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and if you haven't, go and click it because we're going to get to one mil. And if you want to watch another video, click just here. If you want to subscribe, click just here. You want to go to our WTF1 shop and get loads of phone cases, t-shirts, key rings, the works, click where my finger is pointing to. I'm Matt with WTF1 and I'm going to bed because I really need some sleep. Can you tell? Bye!